extremely exciting project, of course. This rock doesn't contain any uranium or thorium or very low grade. Tasman Metals Limited is a strategic metals mineral exploration and development company. Under the leadership of Mark Saxon and with its corporate offices in Vancouver, Canada, Tasman has the capacity to deliver high-tech metals that are in scarce supply worldwide. With projects throughout Scandinavia, Tasman's flagship project is the Norashar Heavy Rare Earth Project in Sweden. Located in southern Sweden, the Norishar project is 549.5 hectares in size. The infrastructure surrounding the project is second to none. Power and water run directly to the site. Port facilities are located within close proximity. And only 15 kilometers away is the town of Grana. Running between Norishar and Grana is the E4, Sweden's primary freeway, which connects Norishar and Grana to Stockholm. 300 kilometers to the north. Norrishar is an easy place for us to work and, uh, and Sweden in general is an easy place to work and uh, it's a very uh, transparent mining act, very good mining act. Uh, decisions get made quickly. We have the only 43101 compliant resource in mainland Europe which is obviously a, a real exceptional feature and that allows us to connect well within the EU. Despite being so close to so much the project area is unobstructed. This factor, along with the nature of the deposit, has made Norishar favorable for open pit extraction. Tasman has been working diligently. We already have a, a resource calculated and that was based on, uh, on 26 drill holes. Um, since that resource we have drilled another 33 drill holes. We will be launching a scoping study and uh, the scoping study will put the basic economics around uh, the Norishar project. Using the latest technology. Yeah, so this is a portable XRF uh, analyzer and it's able to detect uh, rare earth elements. In order to properly display the true marvel of Norishar, the second to none mineralogy. The Norishar project is obviously a rare earth project, but the, uh, the thing that makes it unique is that it has more than 50% heavy rare earths, which is uh, very unusual in the world, and there's, uh, there's no other large volume projects that have such a high percentage of heavy rare earths. So uh, the two key metals that we have in particular abundance at Norishar are yttrium and dysprosium. The yttrium will be consumed in the lighting industry. Uh, the dysprosium goes into high strength magnets, particularly in the auto manufacturing industry. Both yttrium and dysprosium are currently in scarce supply and high demand. Many intersections of this mineralization begin at the surface and are over 100 meters in true thickness. But this is not all. The initial metallurgical tests looked extremely good. We were surprised how good they looked, really. The minerals, or mineral, udiolite that contains yeah. most of the, of nearly all of the, of the rare earths, is very easily solved. We know what is extremely important here is that this rock doesn't contain any uranium or thorium or very low grade, and that is extremely important. With 100% ownership of this astounding property, the future looks very promising for Tasman as their exploration continues at Norishar.